Come on, four, 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 four. Coming to sit too, Chloe. All right. What have we got on? Let's see. So this one is with an injection. Simple as math. Injection. Oh, you making butter, Chloe? to what, 308? Yeah.
I'm going to. I know, she's making butter. She's making butter. She's a happy girl. Because that's what they do when they're babies. And we got a modifier alert. I'd have to Google the specific reason why cats make butter. But it's a soothing mechanism, I'm sure. So, these got two blue stars because if we're going to use radiology for our guide, we're going to use our seven codes. And then if we're going to use a modifier for this one too. So that's why those have blue stars. Oh, see, she's liking you. And you say she does that only because she's waking up. She's out of wide awake now. Oh yeah, I was watching Battleship. Such a good movie. I went to the movie premiere for that movie. Got to meet all the actors. Rihanna's the only one that refused to come see the fans. And she was two hours late. I stood on the street corner of L.A. for like 15 hours waiting on the actors to show up. Because you, if you want to do a movie premiere... You got to get there at the crack of dawn before all the um, paparazzi people get there. And you stake your spot on the sidewalk. And then you stay there and try not to get peed on by the homeless people <laughs> on the streets of L.A. all day. While you volunteer people to go get you Chick-fil-A or, you know, they'll run around the corner to go get you Starbucks and then come back. Everybody will take turns doing stuff for people. And then you wait all day long on the street corner. Just to meet the actors. Your mommy's done some crazy stuff, Jaybird. Spent a whole week on the sidewalk one year. That was fun. For a movie premiere. I do. The videos um, are on my website, medicalcodingbyjen.com. See her? Just a sec. I was just there because I was showing my mama my website. She had never seen it before. Huh. So I was there. So yeah, go there. And there is... Members only, so you just sign up for an account. But right there where it says book prep videos, all of those videos on that page are the digestion system. And I did the front of the book where that whole, um, that video, that video, and that video. And that's where this one will go tonight too or tomorrow. I'll post it there too. But um, these are all digestion. And this is the page where I did all the beginning anatomy and then yeah so they're all there that's where you watch them I don't post the book prep ones on YouTube anymore only my question prep ones I keep the book prep on the website because this is all somebody else's stuff so I don't want to put it all out there on YouTube and get in trouble too much but it's okay AAPC and all of them know what I'm doing. I even guest educate for them. I'm just trying to be nice. <sighs> my goodness, Pen, what's wrong with you? Let me show you my pen trick.
take your some isoprol, stick your pin in there just for half a second, pull it right back out. That's it. And your pen will write so well. Again, afterwards. Ultrasound. Ooh, so much better. Okay, ultrasound. Come on, Ben. Don't don't back talk me now. G U. I got a something on the tippy end. I don't know what I got on there. I can feel it once I'm writing. U. Ultrasound guide. But it's a fine needle biopsy. We're just going to get rid of that one. Needle aspiration, I mean. Oh, it is doing a biopsy too. Yay. And it is trans. Trans is important. Yay, JM. That's awesome. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. We'll do a boo of questions. I'll do another free live on Friday, um, 6.30 Arizona time zone, just like tonight. Two hours of practice questions. Just let me know what you'd like to see. You know, cardiology, lab path are always the hardest. Or... More like tonight, diagnoses or cases are always popular. No, it's not hard. I don't teach a class. I just teach you how to pass your medical certification exam without even um, reading the questions. Like, just super cool. Um, where you don't even need to know body parts or routes or anything. got liquid alcohol on on my CPT book. Oh no. So that little symbol in front of this CPT code means do not use with modifier 51. That's on the left side of your CPT book on the bottom of the page on every single page. But a lot of people don't know what that means. But I go on and write it right there that that means no modifier 51. And it usually is one of the questions that they do ask is they'll give you a list of CPT codes, just randomness because some of it's like integumentary, some of it's here in digestion, and then another one in another section. And they'll ask you, what modifier is excluded from these CPT codes? And if you have no idea... You wouldn't know what to pick unless you knew about that little symbol and knew about the left side of every single page in the CPT book that says it's excluded. So what's happening here is that they are insert. Sometimes I can't talk and write at the same time because I'll end up writing the wrong letters. Two channel, 
balloon. Thank you for the love. Two channel balloon tip down. Down to intestine. So one channel in the tube is to aspirate and withdraw fluid and remove an obstruction with air. So let's see, what else do they have to watch? <laughs> I'm skipping around a lot, too. I just picked a page and opened the book. I think I have some pages to go back to. Yeah, I probably ought to go back. <laughs> I just opened the book. I, don't, I didn't do 374 all the way back to 366. I don't know why. I just opened it and started this page. <laughs> I can go back to 366 and uh, finish up these pages. I think this is where I was at. Somewhere around in here. Yeah. I mopped the floor, so that's what took me so long to get back up here. I forgot what I was doing, and I didn't even get... I forgot to eat, too, so I got to... <laughs> But I mopped the floor. I got something done for my house. Jeez. Okay. So, is this more like where y'all were at, I think? You had to eat. I mean, too. I, my mom was out there, so I chatted with her. She looked so interested to talk, so she wanted to talk. And then... Uh, Whenever my mom's in the room, I gotta make sure I'm cleaning something or taking care of something for her. So I did uh, the dishes and then I did the floor. I just, I don't know why. Still this day, I act like I gotta be doing something for her. And, uh, and she went back out to her casita after she worked on her puzzle a minute. I got her doing um, a map puzzle. It's of um, good lord, my brain cannot think. Uh oh, I better not be losing internet. Nope, it's not going to happen.
the Zelda map from the Zelda series video games. Um, it's a really terrible puzzle because it's so intricate and it's all the same color. It's brown with just lines in it. So she's putting that together. She did um, the Harry Potter one for the hall where the candles are all floating in the hallway. I've got it mounted. I just, um, like, you know, after you put these puzzles together, they don't tell you. You gotta flip it over upside down. Then you gotta seal the back of the puzzle. And then you gotta get it mounted. So, oh. But anyway, we got that one sealed. Yeah, I was wondering why I was freezing my, so I can tell with some of the electronics in the house that something's freezing. So hopefully it will stop this foolishness here. So now I'm on page 365. Get some lotion. My hands are drying out on me. Oh, that's right. I moved a bottle behind me. So I wouldn't have to go far to get lotion anymore. Oh, I just forget it's there. Sweet pineapple and melon lotion. Probably too full of chemicals that are just going to give me cancer one of these days. I wish, you know companies had a little bit of ethics in what they make for us because I sure do like buying stuff but I should worry about what it all has in it um let's see so 52 I did that that we had the tube placed in the nose for the aspiration dose yep that's what I did when we were right before we were <clears throat> doing my other live now for 43 this is therapeutic isn't it yep that's therapeutic that's important Wash the stomach. Wash it out. There could be an obstruction. Or overdose. This one's more of a traumatic trauma emergency situation than this one is. But it is. Therapeutic is our... And before I forget um, on this one... Ugh. Only bill if MD places the tube. If other staff does it, there's no bill for this. For the first one.
over here to 54. 55. Gastric intubation, it's just written right there. First one is diagnostic. That means we don't have a diagnosis, we don't know what's wrong with you, and we're just going to go explore. We need a diagnosis because we don't have one. Just means multi specimens with this one. They also have some terms in here. This one's just acidic analysis. This one will be gastric secretion study or histamine or insulin something, a calcium, something like that. They're doing more testing. What you doing, Magpie? You silly girl. Nothing okay. This one needs blue stars because it's fluoroscope. If we're gonna add guidance, we're gonna add that. The other one isn't too bad important. Just a green. Have y'all seen that Netflix series about bad roommates? Oh my gosh. I watched that last night. That was crazy. The squatters and stuff that just come rent a room from you and then never pay. Oh my lord. That was stressful to watch. This was gastric intubation. These are dual. D U O D E N A L N T U B A T. And then you can't get them out of your apartment because it takes months and months and months. <laughs> that was crazy. Hey, Bree. How's it going? The tube goes to the duodenum not an e d u o d e n u m what they're trying to do is cause 
stomach to produce acid. Single means they're just doing the stomach. The multi means they're doing um, they're doing the the pancreas or the gallbladder. Hey Magpie, hey girl. girl. Not too important. Not too important. This one is important because it's telling us if if we use um, guidance. Y'all gotta yell at me because I don't notice that I'm not showing y'all nothing. Um, that one gets the two blue stars, and then we go back to just a green that ain't really worth nothing. Not worth, not worth nothing, really, for the CPC exam anyway. But I like this one because it tells us to use guidance. Use them. There we go. Sixty-one. So naso means nose, right? Does anybody know what O R O means? I'll have this posted up on the um, website, Medical Coding by Jen, if you want to watch it later. I've already got three videos up of me doing this chapter, Code by Code. Yeah, very good. Mouth. Nose or mouth for enteric. It's a good series. I don't watch it. I just, when I'm doing this um, book, I play Netflix in the background. And uh, I just listen to it a little bit. Yep, yep. Enteric means nutrition. These mean replace. But that does not mean revision. So no revision. So we got to use 
guidance. We're going to use this code. It's not a 7 7, it's a 4 code. Ooh. Not important there. Not requiring revise, requiring revise. This one is a may require after the fact. A dilation. They may have to do this procedure, but then they may have to stage it with something else later. But they don't know because they got to let the body heal and do its own thing, see how it works. This one, they'll know before the end of the surgery that, yeah, we're going to need to do dilation after this, most definitely. So one little side note here is um, if surgery starts out as laparoscopic but converts to open any of y'all been with me for any time know why I'm writing it in green open procedure code There you go, only. Let's be specific. There we go. Uh,
Modifier alert. If they use an individual component placement, then they're going to use modifier 52 with the 70. And this one is an incision. At the belly button. Or... Hold on, the cat wants out. Abdominal area. Cool. You want out, Mac? Hi. He's leaving his computer screens on in the living room and going to bed. Oh, it's like I'm not your monitor. Turn it down, turn it off, whatever they do to it. Place band around the stomach and resize the stomach. This one is a revision. This one is just a removal. This one is a removal. Come on. And replace. What's going on here is due to displacement. It moves displacement or malfunction. This removal right here is due to a complication. So that's handy to know, like what's going on. This one just got moved around, and then this one's due to a complication from surgery. And then our 74. Thank you for all the likes.
I get more new followers sometimes from y'all doing that um, here in the middle of the night near big night. <laughs> I don't know why I could have 40 people on and not get any new followers, but then in the middle of the night I could have five people on and I get more followers. I don't know why. I have 30 new followers. It's nice. Move it up. Yeah, so this one is remove about 60% of stomach. I think this is the one that everybody goes to Mexico for. So your stomach looks like that, but on a gastric sleeve, they would cut all of that part out, that right there, and just leave that little part that goes there, and they just staple it back together. They do them all day long in Mexico. Yeah, I do too. I can't stay away from the refrigerator. It's worse too when you work from home. I've been working from home since 2013 and man, that refrigerator is so close. You know, it's 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 right over there. just a vagus nerve block is what they're talking about inside that parenthetical right there so if they say anything about that then anyway I don't think it's too important so this one they're increasing the size of the pyloric opening That's what's going on in this one. I can't write near that thing. just make it open with strength <laughs> a lot of times these surgeries are crazy because it looks like they're just working on a car I remember my first c-section I never talked so much in my life but they just took that bladder out of your stomach and set it up on top of your chest and they're just working on it just like it's a car it's crazy crazy crazy
<laughs> maybe I shouldn't tap it's maybe make it our little secret well I'd love to get to 10,000 followers that's my goal for the end of the year I think I'll get there I mean it's only f February right no it's March now yeah and I got 7,000 something so I just like to get 10,000 by the end of the year not that that's how many we have we only have 400 in our study group so it's not like I really have 10,000 people or 7,000 following me or whatever. I don't know why. Or I'd have 7,000 in our study group. Right? We only got like 400. But just in January, we only had 250, and then I got too big. So we had to move everybody. All right. No talkie. I gotta get done with this section. I'm never gonna get done with this book. Not important. This one's important because we got imaging. It's without imaging though. If we're gonna do imaging, it's gonna be this one. I still have to control my food. Did you have it done, lady? It would be fun if we all did a day trip to Mexico to get her. lap bands <laughs> we could bring our CPT code books <laughs> and we could have classes while we're waiting to get our blood draw because you know when they pick you up from the airport they bring you first to the hospital and you all get in a waiting room all together and then you get your EKGs done and then you get your CT of your chest because they want to make sure you never had COVID or have lung damage after that and then they move you to another waiting room to all get your blood work done. Once you get your blood work, your CT, and your EKGs done, then they take you to the hotel room for the night. But you all do it in all big groups. And if we all went together, we could still do lessons the whole time. <laughs> and we would be so worried and stressed out about the surgery because we'd be busy making notes or something. We could, we could make a day trip of all that, right? And then you have your surgery the next day day and either that night or the morning after they take you on a shopping spree through town and then you check out of your hotel and go back home <laughs> it's, it's I, I don't think I would go sightseeing I would just be laying in the bed going oh can I get home already I want to shower not that you can't shower there, but I just like, I like my own shower. <laughs> we pick a date this summer or something. I don't know. After tax season when everybody gets their tax returns maybe we could get a group deal <laughs> I'm just talking working out a plan good lord such a troubleshooter I do. I got it all planned out. <laughs> we get it down south in Yuma instead of Tijuana because um, that 
little city over um, across the border in Arizona is where I go to uh, do drug runs a couple of times a year. <laughs> and and that means I go down there to get um, all the blood pressure meds, all the albuterol inhalers and everything for all the family members. Because you can get albuterol inhalers for $4, um, an inhaler. Um, you can get antibiotics and steroids and stuff by the hundred pill bottles um, instead of, you know, seven pills for a hundred dollars here. You get a hundred pills for 15 bucks. <laughs> I used to get all the cats uh, doxycycline. I had a senior citizen cat who had been on um, antibiotics since he was born and um uh, I get his doxycycline, 100 pills in a bottle down there all the time. Kept him alive for 15 years. And uh, Travi had asthma when he was little. He's grown out of that, but his inhalers. Even the water guy who delivers those water jugs here to me, he um, needed inhalers. And I get him $4 inhalers. Mexico because they're like 75 bucks here it's ridiculous and they're the same manufacturer same bottle it's got all the same numbers and manufacturers and all that stuff so uh, get all that stuff down there Crestor whatever you need and you don't need any prescriptions you just go down there go to the pharmacy you t bring in your list and they'll get you whatever you want. If they ain't got it, they'll go send somebody for it. And it'll be there in four more minutes. <laughs> it's crazy. It's insane. And then you just cross right back across the border. This one is connecting the stomach to the duodenum. The next one, I was sitting here trying to make sure that I did this right because this gets confusing and here I am talking about a bunch of silly stuff. Okay, this one is the surgery to connect um, stomach. To Jewagenum. And then this one equals. resection of that vagus nerve we got an open procedure
That one's without a gastric construction tube. This one is with neonate feeding. This is to place tube. Ooh, forgot the U. Tube for feeding purpose. There we go. And this one's with the construct tube. This is giving you direct access to the lumen of stomach. Don't forget to highlight, that's got a name name in it. Janway Procedure. Yep, yep, yep. That one has that stam in it. Anytime I see anything with any kind of proper name in it, for sure, make notes of that. Huh, doesn't have an I-S-I-S. -S or I S I S in it, but it is a suture. I like seeing the I guess R R might give us some hints about that. This is um sutures, of course. They're usually due to a tear in the stomach. Ulcer or injury. Two thousand likes. Y'all have tapped the screen two thousand times. Wow. All right. Where to? Okay. I hate when I do that because I always damage the pages underneath. I don't like, I like just keeping the book flat open, but I can't get near the sides to do the side when it's open like that. Travis getting to be an old man. He got mad at me because I wouldn't let him go to sleep at nine o'clock. And I, I was able to keep him awake till 9.30, and he's done. He went to bed. I'll have to remind James to go to bed. They're like two different little grizzly bears. 
both very, very different. Ooh, I forgot to highlight that. There's a two knot I didn't do. He's still up, James. It's almost 11 o'clock here. Let me go tell him to go to bed. Jay Bird, what are you doing up? Thursday and Friday, two more days of school, then you're out for 10 days. Joy, joy. Mamba, remember to brush your teeth, please. Dentist appointment on Monday. Love you. He's ready for spring break already. <laughs> <laughs> Fixing some water. He is. He's trying to start early. His older brother is still up playing video games on the big living room TV with the surround sound. So he's like all immersed wanting to watch him play that game. Oh, and he can watch all he wants. He's just got to get two more days done. Two more. Monday we have dentist appointments, but they're at noon. So that's Good. It won't affect the live. They got that dentistry for kids thing around here. And man, they got it down to a science. They can get them kids in and out like crazy. This one, we are removing portion of the stomach that produces the hormone that produces the sensory for hunger. <clears throat> this is the one we need for Mexico. Yeah.
hungry. <clears throat> supposed to spell hunger, but I spelled hungry. <laughs> oh, all right. So this is the vertical band. What they call the vertical. Forty-five is partially resect. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what are we doing? What are we removing? We're preserving the pylorus and section of the duodenum. Is it freezing? I'm sorry. I got up and left and went and found another black Sharpie. I don't know if that was doing it or if it was just me going away. Okay. Yeah. Everybody in the neighborhood should be asleep by now, so <laughs> nobody else should be using all of our collective internets. Oh... So, of course, the main thing here is the 150. Yep, yep, yep.
So if they do this, That helps one cc of food. Thank you for the follow. Um, if they do what's inside this box thingy right here, removing this box area that means the stomach No longer used. The stomach is completely bypassed and no longer used. So if they do this thing, the duodenal middle um, limb thing that means the middle third intestine about 7.5 feet long This little lovely thing, large, intestine, which is about five foot long. Just so you know, the small intestine occupies the central and lower abdomen Duodenum is the first part of the small intestines. And the small intestines
connects to the stomach. And it is about 10 inches long, if anyone cares. But you don't have to have that info. I'm just overdoing. All right. This one limit, limits your absorbs, absorption of food. So it all just shoots out the back end. Uh, would not prefer to have this surgery. That's supposed to be a P. <laughs> it's like that alibi or alley. I don't remember what that medicine they came out with. Remember they coated it in the potato chips there for a while in like the early 2000s? I don't know. They had some Lay's potato chips. and You can get it over the counter now and it makes you just shoot out half the food you eat. <laughs> well, we don't want that. <laughs> this is going to be uploaded on my website, medicalcoatingbygen.com. All the links are in bio, and it's just the same thing as my name here on TikTok. And you just go under members on that website. It's free, and um, you go to the videos, CPT book videos. I've already got three up of the book prep for the digestion system. So if they make it too small and it's way too restrictive for somebody and they are, you can have a procedure where they cut way too much of it out and then you can't absorb any food and you can't get any nutrients and then it can affect your heart. So if they have to go back in and enlarge something, if they did a little too much, This is your fix-it procedure. Or they didn't cut enough of it off. dumping syndrome more likely it's hormones affecting it you know you have hormones that make you hungry and then you've got hormones that make you digest food and it could be overproduction of uh, acids they're not 100% sure what gives people dumping syndrome I have my gallbladder removed that's most of the time when you get that um, issue and I've never had a trouble and not one bit with that at all um, so it's your gallbladder holds a lot of hormones in it it's not just a collection spot for bile it does make a lot of things too that helps regulate your body but they don't really tell you all that plus they're not 100% sure but they see commonalities with certain things and if you had to have your gallbladder out. And then you also get 
uh, one of these procedures, sometimes it can give you uh, dumping syndrome, but a lot of times it's the medications you're on too. So if you're on hypertension drugs, cholesterol drugs, and a lot of pain meds, um, Soma or Darvacets, that can also give you dumping syndrome too. So um, it could be a collective of a lot of stuff or just hereditary. They don't 100% know, that's for sure, but gallbladder surgery did not affect me. Didn't have one bit of problem. Yeah, they don't. They really don't. <clears throat> they can guess. They can try different things and see if anything helps, but it just may be you. Don't know. My dad got the same thing, but it was later on in life. It, he had cardiac issues too, and he had um, sarcoidosis from Vietnam. So um, it could be a lot of things. It could be environmental exposure. We think a lot of his problems was exposure to Agent Orange over in Vietnam. Um, if you are in printing or AutoCAD or blueprints a lot, that can be bad. Chemicals from carpets, there's just, it could be environmental, it could be hereditary, it could be prior surgeries, it could just be DNA. No one really knows all for certain. It'd be nice. I'm sure one of these days we're going to look back on our science and think how ignorant we all were when it was this particular thing and it's probably the more obvious reason whatever it is but we um, don't know why it affects one person over another don't know my dad did diesel mechanic then he did Vietnam and then he came back, went back to school, and became a drafter. So he dealt with the blueprints all the time. So he had triple whammy, bad mojo. You're not supposed to be even near those blueprint machines. And his office always ended up being near the blueprint machines. <laughs> oh, Lord. What we find out later on in life. <sighs> Don't work at Kinko's if you do not want dump, dumping syndromes. Do I recommend a revision of a bypass if you only lost 50 pounds with a sleeve? 50 pounds is great. I would love to you lose 50 pounds. Is that not a goal? Did you need to lose more? Because if you lose more, if you lose 100 pounds, then you're going to have to deal with the skin issues where um, the skin is going to be way too saggy and then it causes issues because um, it's not tight and firm and then it can get sores in it. So you got to weigh the benefits with the risk. Um, they got this new thing now that you can swallow this pill it has a tube attached to it so you got to deal with the tube coming out of your throat after you swallow it but then they fill it with saline and it fills up whatever little pouch you have that may have grown a little large or whatever than, than you would like. And you could fill up your pouch and be full all the time with that little ball of saline in there. That would give you four months before it dissolves and just goes away 
to re-shrink your stomach down to what it was pre-op, post-op, I mean. So I would try to think of something that was less evasive that would maybe try that thing first because it's just a ball of saline and even if it ruptures right away it's not going to hurt anything but then it's supposed to fill up your post-op pouch that may have grown bigger than you wanted in the three years because maybe you ate too much or stretched it out whatever um, and that thing will last four to nine months somewhere around there and then that Will help you shrink it because as it shrinks and loses its saline you will have lost weight because you can't eat as much because that's in there and they do those in Mexico too I might try that first before I went and did the surgery again depends if you've developed diabetes again or hypertension if you have those things and need to lose another 50 pounds and the skin isn't going to be that big of an issue but your blood pressure or diabetes isn't under control and it was getting that way but you stopped progressing that so it depends on if you got more cor comorbidities that could affect other systems along with it too so lots of things to weigh against each other my goodness I could audit that all day long <laughs> if this if that poof but I would definitely try something less evasive first, just to see if I could shrink my stomach pouchy thing back down to something smaller. Nothing, nothing. Lots of stimulators, my goodness. So what am I doing? I'm doing number 60. Huh, it's the same size, okay. Well, you know, you could do a swallow study tomorrow and you'll get a different opinion. Every time I have my gallbladder um, ultrasound before my gallbladder surgery, it was a different size each freaking time I did it. No worry. I'm working on the digestion system and prepping these codes. So we got three, six, eight. Stomach and the duogenum. What we're doing right here is to relieve an obstruction. Relieve obstruction. Pain.
There's usually scars from issues or adhesions. Adhesions. Oh my goodness. Last year. Mm hmm. Mm, good question, Twinkle. How long have I been on? I can't remember what time I Mm, good question, Twinkle. How long have I been on? I can't remember what time I started. If mm. I got one of those ad adjustable frame got the adjustable motorized framey thing from a mattress and um, got it free with the mattress and then the mattress went on sale right after I bought it and I was able to get a refund on that part too but I've been pretty happy with having that adjustable thing because I can raise the head of the bed and that really helps out with reflux and stuff and snoring and what have you but I just raised the head of it. I wonder which one of the gastric bypasses you could get that would help with reflux also. I wonder if they even have one made yet that will help with that. Like can they put in another flap or something in there to keep the gastrics down. I wonder. 
I'm not working on um, coding. I'm um, helping people pass their medical certification exam. I guess this would help people in the coding field once they get coding if they have my notes where you know I tell them what is going on in each CPT code that's helpful but my main purpose is to help people pass their medical certification exam so they can be nationally recognized for a good career hopefully working remotely from home or whatever their dream job is that they want I work from home I have since 2013 Nothing like taking your 15 minute break to go put in a load of laundry, put away the clean dishes out of the dishwasher, and start the crock pot for dinner and then come back. <laughs> That's just great, you know. It's handy dandy. Oh, you're enrolled in the HEMA program. I also do um, CCS and CCA. I even have a free study group. And Janet is one of my mentees who has taken her CPC. She's also getting her CCS. But I have a Discord. If you go into Discord, I have... Our main chat room is that one, but if you click on the three lines, I have all these rooms where you can go in and get resources for all kinds of stuff, but I even have a room for ooh, CCS and CCA practice questions where you can practice your exam questions for that particular program. Janet is in there all the time. She's super helpful with any kind of information for CCS and CCA. Um, but I help you all through your courses too. Um, show you all kinds of information, just tons. There's link in my TikTok bio if um, you want to join any of that for free. All you got to do is click the link tree, and the Discord app is there. It's super handy dandy. Me tell you you can network and get and Janet's getting a job right now too um, remotely and um, she's trying to help people get on with her so she's pretty cool But I helped Janet with her notes too, so when she took her exam, she was better prepared for um, her exam. When it got down to choosing which code was for which, she knew. One. <clears throat> I do um, three days a week free practice question lives here on TikTok six hours a week Monday, Wednesday, and Friday nights I do 
practice questions, teach you techniques so that you can pass your exams. This is just a bonus live to show you how to prep your CPT book for your exams. Free up adhesions from the colon and other structures. You have to build that one completely alone or it will not be covered by any plans. This is a feeding tube that goes all the way through um, down to the duodenum to allow the stomach or the esophagus to heal from whatever they got going on. Oh, I'm sorry, Coco. I hope I can help you pass next time. Most people I meet are not happy with their course or their online program to use to prep for the exam because when they do take the exam, they do like um, Coco and they are not able to pass. And the exam is nothing at all like what they studied. I teach differently. I teach from the exam's point of view only. I don't teach you how to code. The exam's already coded for you. It's multiple choice. I teach you how to pick out the correct answers so you can pass the exam and prepare you for the exam. I give you real examples of what you will face because what you practice in those very expensive courses does not prepare you for the exam that you're going to take. But I hope yours works.
<laughs> Revenue is fun. It certainly is. Just write your revenue guidelines in the back of the CPT book. That way you don't have to memorize it all. You've got four pages back there that are blank for um, notes. Use this book as your brain so you don't have to memorize anything. Uh, case studies are fun. They're all Google Googleable too. So if you search the first line of your case study in Google, you can find all the answers, usually on Quizlets and stuff. So if you run into any issues. Yeah, some of it's a lot of busy work that is meant to make you feel like you're getting your your money's worth for your course, and it's not really helpful. It's just going from one thing to another to another to another, and it's overwhelming. It's better to just get the answers and figure out why the question is asking you about that situation. It's more important to learn the guidelines around that situation, what causes that 
coating to be that certain way than it is to just mechanically fill in the blanks for a bunch of different codes. Um, the research part of it, why would I code that code over that one? Why would I add that modifier? Why are they even asking me this question? What's different about this code versus another code? Those are all very helpful things to understand from the exam's point of view. So then you can tackle the questions when you get them later on. Because you're not going to do any coding or indexing at all for these certification exams. Not one bit. <sighs> Random articles. Yep. Yep. Horror stories. Or just reading jargon from the book. Just reading it. Not explaining it. Yep. Unhelpful. All right. I am done for the night. I'm putting away the book. I will be back with another repeat or another live with practice exam questions on Friday night at 6.30 Arizona time zone. Um, I'll do two hours of practice questions and teach the process of elimination with coding irregularities so that you can identify those during an exam. That way you can get down the rest of the answers and eliminate them down to something more manageable then all you got to do is look up the remaining codes that are left over see what the differences are in those then you do a word search through the question if you have to look at it for the differences and that's it we don't read the questions on our medical coding exam either most of the time we can figure out what the answer is by just looking at the answers and figuring out that can't be coded with that because we're utilizing the information that's in the book like these parentheticals that say do not report that code with this modifier and we could have eliminated something down from one thing to another and gotten it down to this code with the modifier and one with it and then we just get to pick the one without and move on to our next question super helpful thanks twinkle thanks betty thank your daughter for me i have a lot less stressful life now that she came into my life that's awesome <laughs> i appreciate y'all's help as always and i will see y'all tomorrow in all of our chat rooms. Oh, I gotta look. Do I have anybody to tutor tomorrow? And then um, in the morning, because I gotta prep for that. If I do, if I don't have a heck of a lot of tutoring to do tomorrow, I will definitely be back on for more book prep. Let's see. Where's my dash up board? Ooh. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad. I'll be back on for bonus stuff tomorrow night. For sure. Alright guys. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate her. She changed my life for the better. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>